Welcome back everyone. A ton of people are always in this specific situation, so I'll go ahead and break down how to remove your passcode from your iPhone in case you forgot it. It happens all the time. Now I will tell you, this isn't truly what you think. If you found like a random iPhone in like a random park or something like that and you don't have the iCloud email and the password associated with it, then you will probably not be able to fully unlock it. So do keep that in mind. This isn't how to like steal someone's phone and do that. This is if it's your phone and you forgot the passcode to it. Now what I would recommend doing is if you have the options is to make it a backup of this specific device. Hopefully you did. Maybe you have like Google Photos or something like that because a lot of your information may actually be deleted from this device. So kind of keep that in mind. What you want to do at this point is you want to grab your iPhone and you want to make sure you, and you have to have a computer. So either a Mac, Windows, whatever the case is, and you have to have either iTunes or the Files app installed. If you have Mac OS, Catalina or newer, they remove the iTunes app. So iTunes, Files, whatever you need. And at this point, you will need to get your iPhone into recovery mode. And for a lot of iPhones, either you have the newer one or the oldest ones, you'll have to use the home button and the power button or just plug it in and use the side button. And I will go ahead and paste on the screen the ways to do it for your specific iPhone. You can find it there. And I'll also leave this link down below so you can just go and look at that website. You will have to follow those instructions in order to put your iPhone in recovery mode. Now at this point, once your iPhone is in recovery mode, you want to plug it into your computer and then iTunes will essentially find it. And what you want to do at this point is to make your way over to this website, IPSW.me, and you want to download your specific IPSW file for your iPhone. So you want to make your way over to the iPhone catalog, and then you want to find your specific iPhone. So if I'm trying to download one for an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 7, I'll just go ahead and click there, and I'll download the latest one, which is usually the green one up top. And then at that point, it will download. It will take a long time to download, but you want to figure out where it downloaded that. Most probably download it on your downloads folder. So once it's fully downloaded, what you want to do at this point is make your way over to iTunes. And you can see that it probably said, oh, we need to restore or update your iPhone, whatever. You can go and click check for update or restore whatever and then it'll usually time out on you and it'll usually say there's a problem and then at that point all you have to do is go ahead and you'll be given two options either you can restore the iPhone or update the iPhone what you want to do at this point is you want to hold down the option key while clicking update iPhone a little file panel will come up and all you want to do is search up that IPSW file that we just downloaded and remember it has to be for your specific iPhone so don't download an iPhone SE one if you have an iPhone 8 and then at this point just double click on that file and it'll go ahead and start in installing that specific update onto your device. So at this point, it'll eventually go through and then you can go ahead and give it a little bit of time. It'll usually take a couple hours for this thing to officially go through. And once it's officially done, what we can do at this point is just go back to our iPhone and you can see that you're back on that hello screen. And at this point, all it'll tell you to do is just go ahead and go through the setup panel and it will ask you for your iCloud email because you did reset it without fully deleting the iCloud account on it. And that's why I said before, you need to have your iCloud email and the credentials before. So this will not work for a random device. There are other ways to go about doing it, which I think I've already discussed. But once you type in your iCloud email, you'll have access to your full iPhone as if it was brand new. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.